Have you met this friend of Varric's, Inquisitor? Not yet, no. It had better not be who I think it is. I will wring that little bastard's neck. Why? Who do you think it is? Someone Varric claimed he could not contact. Someone the Inquisition, indeed all of Thedas, desperately needed. I'll reserve judgment until I know for certain. No need to have that rogue screaming persecution yet again. Do you have any advice for me? Treat Dorian with caution. It's possible he could be what he seems. A Tevinter mage wishing to do better than his countrymen. What if he is not? At best, his presence makes the Inquisition appear to have questionable allies. That's enough for now. Another time, then. So... that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Ugh. Every time I think I understand magic, the rules change. <laughs> I know, right? If I were a mage, I'd just throw fire at people. That's honest. Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on, it'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening, Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, Mir Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. He doesn't talk much. Hey. So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori, or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Hmm. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't sing the Chant of Light as much as I should, but you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option, but a few faces might help. You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. Those two soldiers might think you're an arsehole. So? It was good to get their perspective. Yeah. Sounds like we could use an easy win for boys like Tanner. And vets like Mira have seen enough to be wary. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that, no matter what comes next. So, this is Skyhold. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. He's not going to get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. I'm grateful for your support. It's my job, isn't it? Killing Darkspawn? Look, in spite of it all, there is hope. The people flock to your banner. They believe in you. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's Chosen. There's so little I remember. What if they're right? 
Does it even matter? Don't you see what you are to them? Without you, they'd be consumed by despair. We all would. They need you to be Andraste's messenger. It gives them hope. The truth doesn't matter. Ah, uh, listen to me talk. Your time is valuable and I've wasted enough of it. So, Inquisitor. It's Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little baddies I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Draste, what do I step in? I've apparently been through a lot. Yes. Corypheus was a surprise. No, a surprise would be... Oh, I stepped in dog shite. No one says, Oh, a Magister God monster, I'm surprised. Impossible things aren't surprises. The ancient thing trying to kill us seems pretty real. Don't get me started. Oh, wait, too late, right? A Magister who cracked the Black City. It's a hazy dream, right? I mean, if it's real, real. Then, the seat of the Maker? Real thing. A seat needs a butt, so the Maker? Real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world? Real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the Skyhole rubbish so I can go play. You joined to help the little people caught up in this. But do you believe it or not? In Andraste? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing? It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. Look, I have arrows. I can make this Corypheus believe in those. Good enough? Please be good enough. As long as you're reliable when we go Magister hunting, stay for whatever reason you like. Like don't have nuts to do with it. Not when we're tracking monsters that shouldn't be. What I want is to get everything back to business as usual. A nice simple system with simple problems. Helps me, helps people, helps you. In that order. For now. You're starting to not sound completely crazy. I know. Scary, innit? So bring them on. But first, food. I'm starving. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven but could never prepare for an archdemon, or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... We were all shaken by what happened. If Corypheus strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but has improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Inquisitor Lavellan? It sounds odd, don't you think? Not at all. Is that the official response? <laughs> I suppose it is. But it's the truth. We needed a leader, and you have proven yourself. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you, Inquisitor. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer. 
although the truth is somewhat more complex. Cole warned us about Corypheus at Haven. He saved a lot of lives. And what will its help cost? How many lives will this demon later claim? In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain, dry, scraping, thirsty, here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. Solas tried to explain what you are, but honestly, I stopped listening after a while. Any chance you could explain it? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone. Hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. 
His body is failing. He could recover. Or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't. And neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we are to receive any visitors of distinction. The people coming know we just survived Corypheus and a dragon. And they must be confident we are able to do so again. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe here. I'm more concerned about reinforcing Skyhold in case Corypheus attacks again. I've had difficulty forgetting his assault on Haven. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash. We lost far too many good people to that monster. I'm sure they'll find rest with the Maker. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lord. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. You don't have to be so formal just because I'm Inquisitor now, Josephine. Our allies and guests should see you treated with every courtesy, Inquisitor, especially considering the newness of your office. Fortunately, after your courage at Haven, it's no difficult task to do so. Uh-oh. Nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just... what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. Considering you lied to get him here, Dorian has every right to be furious. You don't know the half of it. But maybe you should. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tavinta, then. Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tavinta family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind, the perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. I'll need you to explain that. Did I stutter? Men and the company thereof as in sex. Surely you've heard of it. I've more than heard of it, actually. No. The Herald of Andraste. I am shocked and scandalized. Such sarcasm. You're not exactly subtle, O oh Lord Inquisitor. I should have known that's what this was about. No. You don't get to make those assumptions. You know nothing about the Inquisitor. This is not what I wanted. I'm never what you wanted, Father. Or had you forgotten? So that's what all of this is about? Who you sleep with? That's not all it's about. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? 
so you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic, the resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? For your fucking legacy. Anything for that. I think it's time we left. I agree. He's a good man, my father. Deep down. He taught me principle is important. He cares for me in his way, but he won't ever change. I can't forgive him for what he did. I won't. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. Even if it didn't work out. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I don't think less of you. More, if possible. The things you say. I mean it. My father never understood. Living a lie, it festers inside of you like poison. You have to fight for what's in your heart. I agree. I see you enjoy playing with fire, Inquisitor. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. Oh, I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from Tevinto, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. The concerns of the Chantry are no concern of the Inquisition, Mother Giselle. I'm aware of that. You risk, however, not only the Chantry's opinion. And if I asked from where these rumors originated... I... See, I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor, only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Well, that's something. She didn't get to you, did she? No. It takes more to get to me than thinly veiled accusations. You don't think she'll do anything? Do what? Yours is the good opinion I care about, not hers. It does make me wonder. Is my influence over you undue? Perhaps. But it's the kind of undue influence I enjoy. No one accused you of being politically astute. <laughs> not today. <laughs> I tease you too much, I know. It's helpful when you turn that scathing wit on people other than me. I'll have to find something we can do that doesn't involve teasing. Soon, ideally. 
But I adore you more. Probably not. I need to talk to you. Oh. I am, as you say down south, all ears. I was hoping to steal a moment alone with you. <laughs> I need to talk to you, he says. Have it your way, but let's go where a hundred onlookers won't think I'm stealing the Inquisitor's soul. Sleep well? I've never done anything like that before. Do you regularly talk to people in dreams? No. Consider that one more rule you have effortlessly broken in your rise to power. I had no idea that the Anchor would allow you to dream with such focus. It is truly remarkable. But I am reasonably certain we are awake now. And if you wish to discuss anything, I would enjoy talking.